It's Friday. Party time, isn't it? I'm putting my glasses on. Not my party glass. Just glasses. Had hair on it. I need a drink. I have dry mouth. A lot of talking at work today made me uh, a little parched. Anyway, went into today trying to figure out what should I do for a, for a theme, for a map. And I was <clears throat> searching through national, like if there's any holidays for countries. And quick thing on Google showed me that there's fuck all as far as like one country's independence happened today. I mean... Apparently, there was the uh, little war between Israel and Egypt and all the other regional powers happened, and I didn't really feel like doing that. So I went looking for, uh, like, potential people to do a map on, you know, presidents, world leaders, other things like that. And other than Andy Murray, the British tennis player, I didn't want to do that one. Went and looked at another one, and I thought, you know what, what better way to uh, celebrate the birthday of Clemens von Metternich. Oh, you don't know who he is? The first chancellor of the Austrian Empire? How can you not know that? So I figured, what better way to celebrate that than to look at the island in which our, uh, the, the state New Jersey that we did this week was uh, based on. I figured, you know, if they wanted to name it after Jersey, that uh, there's got to be something to it. Let's see what this uh, French Riviera looks like. Um, I got to sit here and kind of be like, does this remind me of New Jersey? Now you kind of have to do some mental imaging and look between the two and try to figure out if any of these things look like New Jersey to you. I mean, I've been to one of these two places. Jersey War Tunnels. Oh, for some reason I thought it was like a civil war between the Isle of Jersey and itself, but I don't think so. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm just I'm going to click some spots. And maybe I'll get lucky and find what it is, but I'm really holding out hope. I'm noticing a lot of French being granted, look how close it is. And I don't know if this includes Guernsey. I don't think it does. I mean, this said Jersey, so I'm going to stick with Jersey. <sighs> and let's take a look. How was your week? Ooh, we were behind a bus. Exciting. Oh, bus is gone. Westview Hotel. Devil's Hole, huh? That's a uh, interesting, a lot of golf course on here. Look at that. I mean, you, you got to say, percentage-wise, there's got to be maybe 5% of the island is golf course. C103, I got to look for whatever road that is. I don't know if I'm going to find it. <clears throat> Devil's Hole. I'm seeing a lot of... Hmm, a lot of French there. A lot of French there, too. Um, I'm going to, I clicked a spot at least, so I'm going to put a like maybe over here. Let's see if I can't get a better angle on that. More rear. Hmm. Do I see that anywhere here? I mean, I'll be a little upset if this ends up actually having Gins in it as well. Just because I'm thinking we're just talking about this island. Excuse me. I really need to start purchasing other non-carbonated things. There's a tea, but I'm kind of tired of tea. It's all caffeinated here, and I don't want to have to like go through the process of buying another container to make non-caffeinated tea. Just drink that instead. And I don't want just sugar water. Man, I am... Ooh. B33. Um, a lot of A's. There are, are there B's here? 
No, I don't think so. Unless this does. I'll be mad if this is bees. Doesn't look it. Grev de lech. St. John. Grev. Greve de lech. Ooh, here we go. B33 and B40. None of these things really show. Um, locations, St. John's Church. So it's got to be the opposite direction of Grev de, de lech. Crabby Clay Pigeon Shooting Club. How popular is that, actually? And that was a terrible score. Oh, I don't... I don't need to see that. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, okay. Quest View. I mean, it's in the middle of the goddamn island. You could have... There's like 18,000 other names you could have picked up besides that one. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we're on the British side of the road. This is etched on the side of a mountain. Um, yeah, how's your week? Days are still bleeding together. I'm not really... I don't know if, if, if it's like... It's the new normal. Well, the new normal has been... I think I started doing this, maybe, what, maybe the third week in March? We're getting through it. My rent, so my, my lease is almost up on my apartment. Pretty soon, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Um, new Witcher book came in. I'll be reading that. Looking forward to it. Western Fire Station. Well, if we've known anything. This is the West, apparently. So I'll just put us there. Something Fire and Rescue, though. This may actually help. <clears throat> oh, here's the one single cannon that. They were able to make on Jersey to defend themselves from penguins or albatrosses. I don't know. The tiny island. This is the V. Moment. Oh, we're not close enough. Maybe I get like right here. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't help me. Come on. Well, we're in a town now. Maybe that was Town Hall right there. Let's take a look. Oh, they're Arsenal fans. They even have the Arsenal colors. Good for them. It's always funny looking at, like, fandoms for things I really don't care so much about. I mean, I'm not saying, like, oh, it's boring and dumb. I'm just like, eh, it's TV switch over have oh they're going to digital. They had to buy signs to remind people of this. When did this happen? This had to have been uh Oh god, ten years ago? Maybe maybe later. Oh we do have Oh the A one and the A two. Here we go. There's the A one and the A two. Saint Helier. I mean, Bowment. There's St. Aubin. So, Belle Royale has to be, oh, over this way. <clears throat> so maybe we're in Millbrook. Oh boy, I'm going to nail this. The new mobile phone service for Jersey. Jersey alone. What are we selling at? Dunnels. Autumn Wine Festival. Sweet. I finally liked wine. It's not for me. I really even had that much beer in a while either. I don't know. It's just like something that's kind of petered away. Ooh, we do have rescue and recovery. I guess that's their tow trucks. They call them there. Come on. Get me over here. I just want to see this sign. Ooh, we're near the water. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Gunsight Cafe. Gunsight Cafe. We are like, yeah, I think that was actually the water. Zoom in. Skydive, though, that sounds fun. Um. Oh, I ran out of time. 
well, yeah, we would have rather up the road if I wasn't an idiot. But I'm so dumb. Hmm. Here's a creep. Peeping in. A professional creep. He's got a ladder. Doing it in the middle of the day. That's pretty ballsy, though. I almost thought that was a TV. Um, this road kind of reminds me of that the, the bike race they do on the Isle of Man, motorcycle race or rally race they do on those super narrow roads. Really sketchy. St. Peter, St. Uwens Bay. Um, can I see? Why are you blurring it out? There's no need for that. No, back and back again. Why do they blur it out? St. Owens Bay, B43. This is a very exciting island. I'm not really seeing much similarities between New Jersey and uh, the Isle of Jersey here. Like, I'm not seeing a Six Flags anywhere. I don't know how many millionaires there are on uh, Jersey, but I'm sure it's expensive to live here. I mean, you gotta ferry all your shit out here. St. Owens Bay. Well, it's a bay. Is this St. Owens Bay? Why don't you say what this is? Is this the bay? No. Is this the bay? You don't say. <clears throat> Let's go up here. Uh, bay? Nope. Man, you got names for everything over here. The Demis? The Demis? No. Shamrock Bank. No. Come on. Is this St. Catherine's Breakwater? Um, I'm just listing things off here. I'm not getting anywhere here. I thought I would have seen it by now, but here we are. I got a minute left, and I've seen nothing. All right, let's let's continue on. I've got time to spend here and I've just really babbled about nothing here. This is like in inside town inside island type thing I'm gonna say. Uh, I'll save her right there until I can maybe find something else saying otherwise. This all feels like you're driving in a trench. Is the road like sunk down that far? The road is gone now. This is just one way. If another car coming, you just stare at each other until somebody uh, blinks, and then they have to back up. Where am I going? Oh, we're, we're actually very, well, I was going to say we're very close to the water, but honestly, I think wherever you are on this island, you're very close to water. See, that guy, you got to let me by. Get me. Oh, we're in it now. What does this say? Oh, it's just a... Is that a tra I forgot what the caravan, that's what they call trailers in England. Um, and they cram everything together here. I mean, this is old-timey houses. I don't know how long ago things were built, but I got 19 seconds. Nothing is really like... They got palm trees here? It's that warm? That makes me feel like we're down here, because wait, maybe we're up here with the uh, Gulf Stream. I'm going to go ahead and make my guess and nail it. I should have stuck with the third guess, second guess, one of those two. Who knows? Anyway, been going through the daily doldrums of get done with work. What am I going to do for after work? Uh, well, I'll start reading now since I got that book, but just spinning my wheels through different games since the XCOM game, XCOM game came out recently. The Khmer Squad was playing that quite a bit, but then uh ran into an issue that um, I kind of had when I remember first playing uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, where if you didn't play the game a certain way, you got to a specific fight that kind of 
locked you out in a sense that it was in between missions and when you save and because I never actually did like uh like multiple saves that just seemed completely alien to me it's like why would I do that I got one save I'll just save over the save I feel like maybe this is it we're in the talk Corbier. So Corbier's got to be maybe near here. Where it just royally fucked me. And I had to restart the game again. And this was probably maybe like... I'm just completely guessing maybe it's like six, seven hours into the game. Granted, I was a kid back then and I just immediately started playing again because that's what I did. But in this game, I'm like three steps in on this one mission, and I didn't realize until I got to the final part of the mission that I'm missing like one key thing that arguably I could have, uh, I could have, I don't know, maybe I could have gotten the whole game and not seen any mention of being like, hey, you need a specific type of character or weapon to beat this thing, and they just threw a billion mobs at me. And it's just like, I'm kind of screwed here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, recover from this. And the thought of maybe either restarting or going back a certain way and having to redo all those missions again just kind of killed my momentum. And then on top of that, really the weapons I need to actually kill this thing, I, didn't, I don't have anybody who does that. I don't even think I have an option to research that thing, so I'm kind of just like, all right, I think I'm at my point of I'm done with that game, at least for now. So, killing time playing magic because I'm, in, I guess, a glutton for punishment. I still don't really understand how to actually, uh, like, if I was to make my own deck, I'd, there's like 8 million cards. Creepy Valley, that's a great name. Let me see Creepy Valley, if that just pops up somewhere here. Just been playing the arena thing just because that's more uh, convenient, at least for me, than actually buying physical cards and playing that way because I can't understand, like, be bothered to remember all the rules for every card. Or if someone else is playing, he's like, no, he doesn't do that. And I would just be like, well, he... Obviously, no knows more about the game than I do, so I would just believe him, and then he could just totally take advantage of me. <clears throat> so, don't have to worry about that with uh, the arena game, where it would just immediately take care of things, and it leaves all the thinking out of it, at least on my end. And I, whoa, that's not worth that many points. I thought that would have been more. Oh, excuse me, that was very. Uh, Cooth of me. We have the A11. All right. I feel like I've seen every one of these goddamn names <laughs> non stop. All right. So we're going to go to the A11, which makes me feel like we are on a road that doesn't exist. <laughs> How perfect. Bell Royal. St. Peter. St. Oben. There's St. Peter. Where is St. Oben? A-U-B-I-N. Look for that. Am I missing it? There's St. Oben. Okay. There's two? Okay. Last I knew, you can't really name two places the same thing, especially when they're this goddamn close. That seems a little uh, backward. I wonder if they're just like, no, we're saying open, and they have fights all the time to see who's actually the real one. All right, so we have here and here for these. And that's to the left. So A11's got to be like St. Helier. Okay, I see 1, 13, and 12, but why am I not seeing 11 anywhere? This seems like hilariously what always happens when I do these things, but 
Come on. Ain't hell healthier. This? A11? No. I'm going to be staring at this for a while because I'm just missing something very obvious. And I feel like it's maybe up here, but it's not. Bell Royal St. Hellier. And why is there no A11? Is it over here? Oh, we have the B28 there. A4. Oh, there's St. Hellier. Wow, this is... So maybe we're on the Queen's Road. That's A9. Now I'm all sorts of backed up on here. What the fuck? What is this? I mean, it's not the A9, so I can't put you there. Are we... This it? This can't be it. Especially with... All right. You know what? Let's take a look more at maybe another sign and stop just staring at that one. National Trust of something. Okay, let's see what this road says. Oh, Living Legend. Well, that guy's pretty full of himself. Yeah, Creepy Valley and what the fuck? Sepia Tone. What happened to the can- Oh, I like this. We're going through an Instagram filter here, I think. Called, like, Underwater Photo in 1970. There's like 70% of the water is actually chlorine. I like this effect. This is this is pretty trippy. I feel like this is the type of like if this was a video, this would be playing when you'd be listening to something like Tame Impala or something. There's some trippy calm. I am gonna get such a bad score. Especially on this one, because it was so far off the other one, but I'm gonna close my eyes. Finish my drink, find the cup, hold the coaster for where it is. It's down, now I open my eyes. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I was very much... So this is apparently the A11. doesn't even say it. Whatever. I think we can safely say... I don't know where they pulled the jersey name. This looks nothing like it. I think we should rename... One of the two. I don't know which one yet. I mean, if you go by population, New Jersey obviously wins. There's way more people there, so this has got to be named something else. This looks like if you... Uh, a very large mouth of a tiny fish or a dog. See, here's the feet. There's the big, wide mouth. It's going to eat. I don't know. There's nothing out here. Either way, that's going to do it for our uh, week. A weird week as far as videos. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, ideas, insights, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for other games or maps or any other themes whatsoever that are related to the channel, Go ahead and put them there. Along with your like, favorite, comment, subscribe. You know all the fun stuff. I am slowly losing the ability to talk. My mouth is very dry. So I'm going to cut this off here. Enjoy your weekend, folks. We'll see you back here on Monday for some more Guessing Geography. Goodbye.